happy Sunday and guess what my rooftops semi open so my sister's here <laughs> and we you can see the pool hold on right behind me which I've never really showed it so the pool's not open but the pool deck is open which is really cool and then you have the amazing views of Chicago so um it smells like suntan lotion also uh yeah we're just hanging out up here and uh this is like the beginning of summer being able to go up here I love it hey it's Monday it's sunny out it's perfect weather in Chicago and I am finally back on my walks I haven't gone for a walk since gosh the day I left for Nashville so a week ago yesterday or two days not good I went for a run last Monday but uh anyways it feels good to be out in the sun the temperature is perfect and everyone seems to be out and about even though I feel like I'm out a little bit later so it's interesting to walk past these stores that were boarded up for the pandemic finally took their boards down and then unfortunately had to put them back up um, because of the looting that happened here in Chicago. It's really sad. I feel like these businesses were just about to start opening. So hopefully they will open soon. Darn it, I spilled coffee again. Uh, I think they will. I think it'll be soon. And it's a good sign to see people out and about. This is good. All right, hi, this is a quick walk. I'm probably gonna go for a second one later. Oh, big news, my massage place is open as of today. So I scheduled an appointment to cap off the end of my day and I couldn't be more excited. So I'm gonna be going there and yeah, it's gonna be a great day. Good morning, it's Tuesday. It's gorgeous out and the birds are chirping, so that's nice. I am getting a walk in before it rains today so yeah I'm listening to a Gary V podcast and I just walked past this car there's a guy in there and he's looking at me like why is this girl talking to her phone anyway uh listening to a Gary V podcast he hasn't been doing tea with Gary V lately but he has some mashups which are really good if you haven't if you don't follow him by the way and you're like he's just really great. I don't even know how to categorize it. It's not just social media, but it's motivational, like unintentionally. I really like him. Oh, my massage yesterday, amazing. Like I had been missing, make sure there's no cars. I had been missing my massages. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go back. Oh, so good. If you live in Chicago, okay. This guy's partying this morning. If you live in Chicago, anywhere near River North or you're visiting Chicago, it's like the best. Okay, it's a very active morning. Anyway, River North massage is really great. I think I pay $70 a month. It gives me a 15 minute massage. And then I added my boyfriend on. So any massage he gets or any of my second or third massages are 30% off. Also, they have a school. so. And get student massages and when you're a member it's only 28 bucks for student now student massages aren't coming back till july but it's a really great option today i have work and then we're going to the grocery store because we have like zero groceries from you know having been gone for a full week so yeah very exciting over here and um everyone's looking at me like i'm crazy so i'm gonna get off my phone right now hi good morning it's thursday and i'm on my balcony i opted not for a walk today because I'm going for one later with my friend Steph. So I just did a Peloton arm workout. It's been a minute and I'm not going to be able to hold the phone up very long. So I am drinking my coffee obviously and then planning for uh, trying to figure out what TikTok videos to shoot and just enjoying like the crisp weather. Uh, yeah, it's kind of it. I would I'm trying to think of like things that I bought online lately that I haven't showed you. I got a yoga strap like for my mat, which if you follow me on TikTok, you'll see it because I'm probably gonna shoot that today. But that's like, I mean, I've ordered some things, but I really like haven't, my online shopping has significantly decreased. I don't think I'm the only one. Like, are you shopping as much? Because I feel like we're, I'm not going anywhere. I mean, yeah, a few restaurants have opened, but I have clothes for that. I mean, we skipped a whole season of wardrobe, which 
whatever, fine. But I mean, it's not like we're out there doing much. We don't know when we can do a ton. So like I'm good with the clothes that I have. And I mostly, like I bought those loft, um, what's it called? Those like really soft, like sweatshirt sweatpants, which I love. And oh, my arm, okay. Um, and then I also, I think that's kind of it. Yeah, it's really, actually to look at my credit card bill is really nice. Uh, I pretty much have only purchased Loft, Athleta, and Lululemon, because that's life right now. So that's good. Uh, all right, I'm gonna get to work here. It is a little windy, so I don't know how the audio is gonna sound on this. So I apologize if it's like off. Um, and yeah, I will be back on later. So I just went for a walk with my friend Steph. Now I'm walking home. I want to show you the gorgeous views. I mean, it's just, it doesn't get any better. I love the river walk views. Can't wait for the river walk and the lakefront to be open soon. Oh, it'll be so nice. I'm about to go pick up some Italian food from a place I love called Club Lago, which I think has been around for like ever. And watching, oh, I watched all, do you watch Below Deck Med? I'm obsessed. This is like my fourth season watching it and if you're watching it, like leave a comment below and I want to chat about it. It's so good. So good. Uh, all right. I look like a crazy person, so I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> it's Friday and it's really sunny out and I wanted to show you my rooftop um, in full. So let me give you a little tour back here. We have the grills, the grill area. Actually, I'm not going to show the whole rooftop because I just don't want to walk over there but let me show you the rest in this view right in front of me. So there's the view. There's some outdoor seating here, TV, and then in there, there's a whole room. Um, and then over here is the pool, which it's a little chilly today. And also, um, we're not allowed to go in the pool yet. like my favorite thing. It's a little bit of torture that I can't go in, but that's obviously the way I face. Look at this. You have the Sears, you have the whole skyline, the whole thing. So that's the little view, well, the big view of my rooftop. And I'm just sitting here. It's so cold. I need a sweatshirt. Uh, just looking at this, just getting some work done and having a good Friday so yeah it is Saturday good morning and I am headed to Lowe's so my sister got me this really really cute chic planter which I wanted and I need to fill it with plants so I have one basil plant but I want some other herbs oh my ears just popped um so I want some other herbs According to Google, Lowe's has a ton of them, so let's hope that's true. So I just went to Lowe's for the last, like, I don't know, 30 minutes, and I found some, some of the herbs that I wanted. But I didn't find the planter that I wanted. I found too big of potting soil. So I just, like, left. I, I just, now I'm gonna try Home Depot. Let's see if Home Depot works. If not, help. <laughs> I'll let you know, keep you posted. Take number two, well, store number two. Just got to Home Depot. It looks like it's gonna rain, so I'm gonna hurry up. This is already a much better selection. There's like rows and rows. I don't know who Bonnie is, but she has a lot of plants, so. So many more options here. Oh, they have cilantro. I should just come here first. Okay, now I need to go find a cart. Success. I got all, I think all of them that I wanted. Um, also there's this really nice man who worked at Home Depot and as I was grabbing like the smaller oregano, parsley, all that, he's like, Hey, um, the larger ones are in sale for $4. So I bought those. I don't know if everything's going to fit. I don't know how it's going to look. I don't, I have no idea. This is all new to me. So my boyfriend's probably going to think everything's like a total mess because there'll be dirt everywhere and whatever but I'm determined to make these herbs grow. I also got a lavender plant because I love lavender and I think it'll be nice to have the lavender. So I will show you <laughs> what I picked up um, once I get home. So I'm gonna drive home now. So here's what I got. I got some cilantro, some parsley, some oregano, cilantro, parsley, 
lavender. I have basil at home. I got these cute gloves. Um, an extra thing, I don't know why, and some potty mix. My boyfriend just texted me and was like, hey, where are you? Because I left before he woke up. And I said, I'll be home soon. Just have to get a cart. He's like, where'd you go? I'm like, long story. So I'm gonna roll in with this. All right, I did it. There's a lot of dirt on the ground. I need to fill in the blanks a little bit, but I'm overall really happy. Let me show you. Okay, so here we are. And I have my basil I replanted, my cilantro, my oregano, my parsley, and my lavender that smells so good. Very, very happy about this. I'm very proud of myself. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna accomplish anything else today, but I accomplished this. And by the way, my sister got me this. It's so cute. If you like it, let me know and I'll ask her for a link for it. Um, but it all worked out. The only thing I wanna do is like, so I wanna fill this space. Like I balanced this on top of something. What can I fill it with? Can you just comment and let me know? Um, that'd be really helpful, thank you. Also, when we were moving into a different apartment and I cannot, a different building, I can't wait to show you that building. It's insane. I will tell you all about it later, but it's insane. Um, and this is eventually gonna be indoors. So I need a couple things. One, how do I fill in that space? Two, when I move this indoors, what do I need to know? Like. My boyfriend's very concerned about the dirt and the water because there is like um, a drainage hole under there. But like, what do I need to know to calm him from freaking out about it? So, um, thanks. All right, I'm gonna call it for this week on the vlog. Thank you for watching. Hope you're doing well and I will see you next week.